Hello, my name is Anta and welcome to my channel. If you want to go camping, you might not be sure where to start. There's an overwhelming array of equipment and kit to choose from. And in this video, I will narrow down items that you definitely need when you're going on a camping trip. And I will give some advice on how to choose the right tent, how to choose the right sleeping bag, and explain why you need certain things and why are those the basics. First thing you need is a tent and you may wonder how to pick out the best tent for your needs. When you're buying your tent you will find the information on the labels. One is weight, second is the size, meaning how many people are staying in the tent or how many people can sleep in the tent. Third one is seasonal rating and waterproofing. Fifth would be looking at the shape, the comfort, the design, additional pockets, more things to do with the way you're using it, a more kind of leisurely approach. Item number two is your sleeping bag. You are primarily looking at the temperature rating and durability and the material that it's filled with. Down is one of the highest rated fillers, however, it's not vegetarian vegan friendly that a lot of people will be concerned with, so there are synthetic fillings you can choose instead. Also, synthetic fillings are often preferred when you are camping in damp conditions. Number three is your sleeping mat or your sleeping mattress. The most simplest, affordable and common option that you will find is a foam mattress. This is literally a rollable foam sheet that you can lay out. It will protect you from the cold. Some of these may have a thermal rating. That means that they have been treated in a way or made out of a material that will protect you from the cold coming from the ground. You can also get self-inflating mattresses. These are usually thermorated, so again, they will protect you from the cold of the earth. Next option is a inflatable mattress. These are available as one-person mattresses or a double bed size mattress that will fit in a family tent. These are definitely more comfortable to sleep on. However, they do take more time to set up and aren't a great option if you are staying in a different campsite every night. Inflatable mattresses do not provide additional thermal and insulation, so even though they are more comfortable, you are losing on the protection. Next, you want to plan and bring enough food and water for your camping trip. The longer you're staying out, the more durable your food should be. By that I mean the perishables should be eaten on the first days of your adventure and towards the end you are looking at dehydrated foods. You want to make sure you have enough water. If you're staying in a campsite you will be good with bringing some bottles and topping those up from the campsite supply. I will usually bring one liter bottle and a plastic container that you can put in your backpack for water supply. The bottle is more convenient if I'm cooking at the campsite and I want to top up and I want an easy way of accessing my water, but the bigger container is useful when you leave for a hike and you want to make sure you have enough water with you because one liter wouldn't be enough. If you are doing wild camping, you want to bring all your water with you. So you should do an estimate. Think about how much water you will drink on its own in a day. The hotter the weather, the more you need. You will also need cooking water. You will need some water to clean your dishes and brush your teeth and do things like that. And it is always a good idea to bring a little bit extra. Next up, you need to be sure you can cook your food. So definitely bring some matches and then if you're lucky enough to be in a place where you can have an open fire, you can bring an old newspaper and that will help you start the fire. Especially if you're camping for the first time or camping in an area you're not familiar with, you won't know if there's a type of wood and tiny branches nearby that will help you start a fire with just a match. So a piece of newspaper will be helpful and make your day easier. However, if you're camping somewhere where you cannot have an open fire, such as in a campsite, 
you are looking at bringing your own little stove. I like to use an adapter that I can put directly on a small butane tank. However, you can also get what are essentially mini stoves. So you have what is one ring, like the one you would have on your stove, and you have a separate gas supply. So you have your mini cooking setup. This brings me into the next point, is that you need dishes to cook in and you need dishes to eat out of. So, if you have open fire, you are looking at a cast iron pot and a cast iron pan. If you bring some mess tins, a spork and a tin cup, that will cover all your basic needs for serving food. And these items are also good if you are camping without an open fire because you can cook directly in the mess tins if you have a small fire adapter and that means that you won't have to buy a new kit for your next trip. There's also other things out there. These are just the basics that will ensure that you can always cook a meal and feed yourself. But if you're going on camp, you can get additional things, whatever you please. I like to bring an additional kettle to boil water instead of boiling it in a mess tin. But if I'm going on a hike, I don't want to bring many things, so I'm just bringing the very basics and that has me covered. Now you have your surroundings, you have your food, you have your cooking utensils, you also need a torch. When you're gonna be going in your tent at night, you need a torch. If you're cooking at night, you need a torch. If you're going for a walk or returning late, you need a torch. And this is very important and I recommend bringing two torches. So I would have one on a battery, which is a bigger one and a more powerful one. And then I will usually also have a torch that can be wound up or has a solar panel because that's your backup in case you run out of battery. You should also always bring a med kit. You can buy these pre-packed and they will have all the basic things in them. You would top up the med kit with things that are specific for you. Just consider what you often experience. Maybe you're someone who has a sensitive stomach, so you want to add some medication in case you encounter problems in a situation with new food. And the very last thing that you need if you're going wild camping where you won't have a toilet is a shovel so you can make a latrine. You should always bring a roll of toilet paper anyway, because even if you're staying in a campsite, you can be unlucky and find that they haven't managed to change the loo rolls yet, and what will you do now? And that is it. That is my list of basic items you need to go camping. If you pick them out well, you won't need to replace them anytime soon. I've put links below to items mentioned in this video. If you found this useful and you enjoyed it, please let me know by clicking the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Ask any questions you have in the comment section and I will try to answer those. And thank you for watching and till next time, goodbye.